Well, 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 I believe we are right now live. Hello, and welcome back to episode 8, I will, or stream 8, I believe this is, of Clicky's Hen House, creating a 3D theme park environment scene from scratch. Right, you're probably wondering where I was Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> my, I had a power outage, and I couldn't live stream, so that was unfortunate. But we're live streaming again today. And we're going to finish up the blockout, the colored blockout of my restaurant model. So let's get right to it. Turn off the thumbnail. And here we are, re ready to go. Basically, all we need to do to finish it is detail this, these, so the other edges, edges of it. Right. Hmm. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do to complete these. I don't actually know what the rear of restaurants look like. I tried looking, googling it to find out, but it doesn't really see anything. It more or less looks something similar to this. So I guess we can just sort of do something like that going on. So let's do it. Let's grab a small window. Control D. Shut up. Right. Let it go. Here it is. Let it go. Like so. And D D D. Ah. Accidentally done that. Whoops. 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 There we go. That's better. <laughs> that was so scary. But it's back to normal. Shoe in there. That's about as close as it was for that park. What we want to do, we want to do that. Control D. Over. Control D. Move it over a slight more. Control D. We can move it like so. That looks good. The staff door. Control D. Move it over, move it over, get the rotate tool, uh, center it actually. We can go, hold down J. If we got another, work this right, we can scrunch it into the door and like that. Send it over like so. And what we're gonna do. We actually stick it on slightly more. We're going to control D again, move it over. And what we're gonna do is scale on the X axis. I'm gonna go minus one. Wrong thing. Is it the Y axis? Minus one. Nope. So it is the Z axis, right? Minus one. There we go, like so. Scrunch it over. And now we've got a double rear staff door. There, for the rest of these, what we're going to do, get the window, control D, move it over, get that, rotate it, like so, a bit, a bit straighter there, like that. Basically, this can be like that. And like that. Control D. Move it over like that. Grab these two. Control D. Move it over. Uh make it quite a bit shorter. Then move it over like that, make it, make it go down like that, move it over, like that, there we go, there we are, Grab that. Actually, what am I doing? 
got a better idea. Uh, wait, no. No, I don't have a better idea. I'm going to go center at. It's like. Whoops. Face. Yep. Like that. Like that. You can move it over a bunch like that. Select these. Select these both. I don't know what happened to the. Oh, I know what happened to the axis. Center this axis. Yeah, like that. And now what we're gonna do? I get this concrete block here. This concrete block here. Control D. Move it over. Move it over. Rotate it. Move it over. Move it over. Face. And screech it down a little bit. Object. Move it in slightly more. Move it in slightly more. There we are. I've become abundantly clear. My idea being that this segment over here will be fenced off and you won't see it. But this segment, we need to grab big window, control D, rotate it. This will be able to, you will see seeing out of. Move it big in. There we are. Something similar to that. Now, what else do we need to do? that we need to get onto my layer tool turn that back on grab orthographic front actually what we're going to do now that we're going to create the letters for this so what we're going to do we're going to get a cube move it over up move it across Move it forwards. Now we're gonna do we're gonna make it bigger. Like that. Move it upwards. Like so. We do control D. Make it smaller this one up like that and control D move this one up like that make it longer move it all the way to the top like that there we go that F is so we're gonna do it actually needs to be bigger. Let's grab this. Make that quite a bit fatter. Make this quite a bit fatter. Make that just overall bigger. Like that. Move it upwards. Move it outwards. Move it sideways, just like this one. Make it just slightly bigger. Move it sideways. Make it thinner. Like that. Select all of that. I'm gonna do. Hmm. It's quite far out, so we'll just move it. inwards a bit like that grab just grab this one for simple sake move it in like that and like that control D and move it down 
So it's hold in place. What we're gonna do? Going to select all of that. Control G it. Going to write the pivot point. That. What we're gonna do is select. Select these two. They will be assigned existing material. They will be selected as my metal. What we're going to do is select all these. Oops. Select face, select face, and select face. We're going to do that we're going to select all of it. Deselect those faces. Make that metal. Looks like these faces. Sign new material. We'll name that Lambert. We'll make this. We'll make this. Uh. Hmm. Let's quickly check something. It'd be block out sign two, Matt. So block out sign two underscore Matt. What to do? Get the color get our brush. Take it like that. There we go. Got our first of our letters. Go slightly outwards. Slightly inwards. Slightly outwards. There we go. Got the first F. You can name this. Block out, block out, underscore, sign, rest, r, aunt, score, sign, f, o, one. That'll be our first f. Going to control. D it, move it over to this F, control D, do you have any other Fs? No, we don't have any other Fs, okay, so don't need that one. Next up we'll do this A, so again we will go get for a cube, move it over, Actually, what we will do, we'll get this cube, control D, move it out of it, move that over to about there. Let's sort of do the vertices just like that. I can go into above, like so. Yeah, that's looking good. Object. Then drag to control D. Move it across, make it scale. I'm going to make it scale on the x axis, I believe, minus like that. Make it across like so. Hmm. Do we select both of these? Make them slightly. Hmm. Do I select this control D and move it out? Make it across downwards. It's not really what I want to go for. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to make this slightly thinner. Move that upwards. Control D, we can get that. Control G, center it. Then make that wider, like that. There we go. That's much better. So we've got A. That can be. We know that sign. A01.
Sorry if you can hear barking, my dog's going insane. Not sure what's up, but there you go. Hit A, control D. Move it all the way over to the A for barn. Do you have any other A's? No, we do not. Alright, cool. Oops. Actually, we're going to delete that one. Go into this A because I forgot. We grab that. Control D. Move it out, woods. Need to make it go over that. D. And make it go like that. Okay, that's much better. Now we can control D this. Oops. And move it over to this A. Have any others? No, we don't. Alright, cool. I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna select. I'm gonna select this, this, and this. Control D them. Move them outside. And that can just be sort of a resources. So we can grab these if we need to. I actually need both of them. Do that one. Okay, so this one. I go across here, and we need to make this S. It's going to be annoying. But we might be able to get away with just doing a quick thing. Go like that, control D, move downwards, control D, move downwards, move upwards, like that, D, move upwards. Like that, like that, like that, then control D, move it upwards like that. There you go, an S. Easy. Grab. Eh. Grab this. Move that up there. Hmm. I see what's absolutely happened. Go like that. Go like so. Move it over to the top to this S. Control D. Down to the bottom of the S. Like so. Yep, those are. Move those across like that so we're obvious that they're not the ones to be used. Hit that. Control G. This will be. Copy that. Block out sign S. O1. Wanna, do we have any other S's? Yes, we do. What I'm going to do is Control D. Need to center the axis point though. Make it all the way over to this S over here. Move it up like that. Now we need to do the T. That should be incredibly simple. Grab that. Control D. Move it all the way over to the T. Control D it. Move it down. Move it upwards. Make it a bit thicker. Move it across like that. Like so. Move it across like that. Control D. Move it downwards. That should be simple, so you can do that. Control F. Sign T01. Now we just need to go control D. Oops. Forgot to center the axis point again. Move this over to the T in hot. Hot, hot, hot. Now we need to do this O. 
This can actually be quite simply done. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a cylinder. Move it over. May, may I rotate it. Move it over. Move it over like that. And we're just going to make it go like so. And then like so. What we're going to do. Now we are going to. What is it facing this way? Obviously it's too thick so we can. Oops. Over like that. Like that. There we are. Like so. Move it up like that. Now what we're going to do in the attribute editor, cylinder, wrong one, I'm going to add that over there. I'm going to go to face, select all those and delete them. Now what we're going to do, select the edge tool, like that, bridge, Not, don't want it to do that. Huh. Here we go, like so. That's what we want. There we go. Base. Object mode. Oh, I see. We go face. And I select all these faces. That will be sign existing material. That will be the metal mat. Select all these faces. Sign existing material. Sign to mat. There we are. We just need to grab my. No, it's not that one. I want to grab that one. Control D. Move it over to the O. I'm gonna make it center like that. Control D. Move it down like that. There we go. Like so. Got ourselves an O. Nice. We're gonna do now select these all control G center axis make that one make that an O there we go now control D move it over slightly near the O's there's two so control D move it over to this one control D it over to that one. There we go. Next up we need to do a D. Hmm. Well I'm planning on doing this D. Select this O here. Control D. Move it outwards. Just move it across like so. What we're gonna do is select face tool all these faces and delete them. Oh, miss some. Delete them. That. Like so. Now we just need to grab this. Control D. Move it so it's into that. Like so. There we go. We grab this cylinder. I mean, this U control D. And we've got that. Move it right slightly. Control D. Move it downwards. And talking about control D, we got a D. Control G. Center axis. Control V. Minus D O one.
And bang, we've now got ourselves a D. We're going to do control D. Move it over. I know we must have another D. Yeah, we've got three, two more Ds. This is over here to this D. Control D again, and we'll make it go over to this D. There we go. Look at this. It's making making progress. All right. Next up, what else? We what letter we do? B is next. Okay, B is going to be pretty freaking simple. Just going to do uh, control. Actually, want to do that. This one. Control D. Move it over. Do with delete. I will keep those. Actually, we're going to keep those. We've got the cylinder. Make it smaller. Make it a bit wider. Control D. Below. Move it a bit over. There we go, like that. Got ourselves a B. Grab that. Move it over. Grab that. Move it over. Then we just need to go change this from sign D to sign B01. There we are. So, control D. Move it over to that B over there. Move it a bit back so it's not intersecting with the A. That's the only that's the only B's we need. So you again what we're gonna do is grab our let's grab our um D, control D it, move it over, we'll do we're gonna grab uh cylinder and rotate it so it's facing downwards like that. Move it down like so. Move this, make this thinner. And like so. Look. Yeah, it's looking good. Control D. Move it over. Grab this. Move it a bit like that that and downwards actually delete this one this one we'll make it in the center control D move it over like so yeah like that sign U01 we need a U anywhere else in this no we do not R. Again, we gra this time we're going to grab the B. Control D. Move it over like so. Make it a bit. Nah, it doesn't. Hmm. Do you notice this U? This we made. It's U, but we'll get rid of U. But I need to. That. And we'll just just get those out of it for temporarily. Make that bigger. There you are. Okay, maybe make it thinner. And put those into it. Move it across. Move it across. Hmm. 
if I make it yeah that's good that's better so we grab B again delete that get this control D make it thinner down woods vertex like that oops let me grab those two those four give it over like that there we go that's much more better like so and we can just sort of turn that into a uh, one bigger barn and make it slightly thinner. Control D, move it over there. Control D, move it over there. <coughs> yeah, and Control D, move it over there. There we go, like so. Like that. Now what we need to do. Now what we need to do. Over here, we need to do the G. Again. I'm going to grab a D. Control D. Move it over here. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. I'm going to grab an O with the O gone. Oh, here it is. Control D. Move it over like so. Now we simply need to do is. Oh, what have I done? Over, oh, I see, like that. I'm going to grab the cylinder. Make our faces tool. Alright. I'm gonna grab that. I'll grab that. I'm gonna go delete. Like so. And then we're gonna do that we're gonna go the edge, select and select bridge it. Yep. Select, select, bridge it, yep. What do you need to do is grab this from over here. Oops, not what I want to do. Control D, no. Right, move it over to the G. Maybe make it slight, quite a bit smaller. Move it across. Like so. There we go, we've got a G now. Easy. Berg. Got big, big, big. Now we need to add an E. Easy as fish and chips. Grab these two. Over. Oop, what we need to do. Move this into here. Rename this to. Sign G O one Ah What's happened? Can't have the zero in the O. Oh dear. Oh well. The server. Server like that. Control D downwards and across. Control D, move it upwards and outwards. Control D, move it downwards. There's an E. Select these two and make them slightly wider. 
make it fit better. Like so. Like so. There we are. Now we've got an E. So we'll name that. Put those all. Control G. Set to that. And we'll name that sign E01. Bees trigger bar. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, oh, Mr. Roboto. Right, now we need an N. N will be quite simple again, so we'll call D those. Make them over here. Like, make them a bit move over from the barn. Move this. We'll just move in to the middle. We'll do Control D. Move a bit over. Oops. Control D, vertex, and move it over. Object mode, select that. Control D, move it into the middle. Control G, center. Name it N01. By the, there we go. Burger barn. Nice. Now we just need to do few more things. Just a couple more things. Shouldn't be too hard. Basically now, get these two again. Control D. Move it over to here f to make hot, hot, hot. Move it over. And Control D. Move it across. Control D. Move it across. Then uh, that control D. Oops. Move it across. Control G. Center pivot. H. O one. There we go. Need hot any the H anywhere else? No, we don't. Next up is going to be this and percent. That's going to be difficult. But I got a plan on how to do it. First, gonna need this. Move that over down like so. Move it over. Make it up like that. Make it a lot smaller like so. Grab they. Grab the edges. Whoops. Do that. Vertexes like that. Move it in like that to make it about the same thickness as they usually are. Oh, I missed one bloody hell. There we go. That's better. Like that. Thing to do is get one of us. Just get it from the D. Control D. Move that out of it. Like that. Move it over. Move it like that. But make it smaller. Like so. Grab that T. Move it up. Move it down. Like that. Like so. Like that. But, oops. Yeah, I've done it again. Vertex. Move it into it like so. Vertex a little bit upwards and grab it. Hold D again. Move it upwards. Vertex. Like so. And like so. And make it a hell of a lot thinner. There you go, an ant percent. Grab that one because it's the closest. D, like that. 
We can move it in like so. Control D and like that. Go and percent. Aha! Uh -huh. See, that is not at all done what I wanted it to. I need to grab the vertex. Oh, God damn it. Vertex. I make it go out like so. Like that. There we go. I make it go all around slightly thicker. That could be all around slightly. That needs to be all around thicker. Like that. There we go. That's a nine percent. Control G. That was not what I wanted. I accidentally control F, so I want control G. Like that. Control V. That will be. Oops, sign, sign, the and o one. Okay, that's not how it works. So we'll just do it and o one, like so. And we need to do a C. It'll be one of the easiest ones we can do yet. Have that. Control D. That outwards. Actually, we'll grab it from this O instead. Like that. Face. That. Delete. Delete. Now we need to grab the edge tool. Like that, and that bridge, like that, and that bridge, and that control D. That's I did the wrong bloody thing again. Control D, move it up like that. Control D, move it down like that. There we go. Now these two. Control D. Oh, we need to first get those. Control G. Into that. This will be block. Yeah, just like that. Sign C01. Oh, do we need the C anywhere else? No, we don't. Just leave it like that. Closer to the O. Slightly further though that over to here. Need it for this L. Like so. Grab this. Go like that. Grab this. Control D. We can make it go much thinner. Like it like that. Like that. Move it down into it like so. Control that. Control G. Like that. Like so. This will be I O one. We need an L anywhere else? No, I don't. I do realize I do need an N somewhere else. Where's my N gone? Control D. N can go right there. bit over over now we need the I control D move it over like so this over even more 
this sort of building, that, grab that, grab, grab, <laughs> okay, there we go, like that, D, downwards, grab this, control D, downwards, like so, uh, move it out slightly, move it upwards, control D, move it upwards, there we go, like so. Drinks. Grab this S. Move it much further outwards because we need to add a K in. Grab these two. These. Control G. Control V. Sign I O one. Now we just need to add. Right, so these two. I'm gonna move you over here. Move you all the way over here, and your two are permanently going to become the K. Right. That. Yeah, that. Move it in there. Control D. Move it in. Now we just need to grab this. Control D. Move it like. Make it small, like so. Control D it. The text. Make it go like so. Make it go like that. Vertex, so like that. You can move it, go up. Like so. That's not very good at all. Okay. Like both of these, the text. Oh, for God's sakes, object. So like these two, the text. Move that right into the center. Like that, the text. Move that right into the center as well. Hmm. Okay, what's the good news? Move that over like so. Click mode, grab that. Vertex. Move that like so. There you go, that's much better. There. There you go. And we've now completed. Well, first we'll go like that. Control G. Center, Control V, this will be K01. There we go. Gentlemen, we, we've just completed the block out for Burger Barn. We go into that, and off that. There we go. Burger Barn, block out completed. File, save scene, continue. I'm going to do select all of this. I'm going to control G that into its own thing, and this will be lock. Oops, this will be block out underscore rest or runt. Bam. File. Save scene. Continue. Now we've completed the burger barn block out at least. Ooh. Yeah, that was been quite a bit of work. I believe since we've done another important milestone, I'm gonna stretch and I believe we're gonna call the live stream here. The we did quite a good we did quite good. We've most of our time was spent doing this lettering, which I think was well worth it, as it looks quite nice, in my opinion. And yes, thank you. That was very good. Thank you for the kind words, chat. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I should be back online again, 5 p.m. Australian Eastern St Eastern Daylight Time uh, at 5 p.m. 
next Monday, where we will continue doing us. Uh, we will continue on this. We will actually start properly modeling the restaurant that we will be making this, rather than just do the block out we've been doing. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.